Howdy folks, Larry Cox for DIY Road Cases. Me right here, but you will only hear me today because uh, I'm just filming at the computer doing some screen captures so I can show you a new tip that I want to provide for you guys. And it's related to one of the most common asked questions that we, uh, we get here at DIY Road Cases every day. And that is people calling or emailing and saying, I'd like to build a case for whatever it might be. And they say, can you tell us, you know, what parts I'm going to need for that? And then usually also the next question is, um, can you tell me approximately how much that would cost me? And then also they want to know the shipping cost. So today I'm going to show you a tip that will make this process much easier and quicker for you when you're having difficulties trying to zero in on what parts you might need for your case project. And that tip is to look at photos online of cases exactly like what you want or very similar to, to what you want or what you need. And this will help you immensely in selecting the type of parts that you need for your list. So let me show you. Let's say you want to build a, a case for your Marshall speaker cabinet. So we'll Google that term, Marshall cabinet road case. Now your search results will yield, you know, just basically hits on your keywords. What you want to do is go to this images section for your search engine or your browser and click on that and you will be provided with a warehouse style list of cases related to Marshall products. Okay, so We'll get to something specific in a second, but I just want to tell you, you can also do more general searches. Let's say you have, you know, model hobby airplanes and cars or whatever that, you know, power that fly and drive. And, you know, a lot of those are big and you want a case for that. So like just a general hinged lid trunk style case. So let's go with trunk style road case. And as you can see, you get the same you know, large result list of all kinds of different trunk style cases, different dimensions, styles, sizes. Uh, so then you can just find one that's close to what you want and click on that photo. Let's say you wanted a dressing table road case. Same thing. I'm sure these results are going to and there you go. So all kinds of varieties of cases having to do with dressing tables or wardrobe cases and that kind of thing. Find the one you want, click on it, and then I'm going to show you what to do next. So let's get back to our Marshall cabinet type thing and let's click on one here. And now we can see from looking at this photo pretty much every part that is used to make this case. So you've got your case walls. Uh, and so let's just take start taking the parts. You have two latches right here. This is a lift off lid. So obviously on the other side, you're going to have two other latches. So that's four total. So you take on over to our store, go to our latches section, click on our recessed latches, and then find the latch that most closely resembles what you were looking at or any style here that you like that you would like to use on your case. I'm going to click on this medium latch because that's pretty much what that was on that other case. And we're going to add four of those to our shopping cart. We're going to go back to the photo and keep going. So let's take next the casters. You've got four casters. Go back to the store to our casters section. Click on those and then pick out four of the casters that you want. Maybe you want two with break and two without break. For now, I'm just going to put four of these non-break casters into the shopping cart, back to the photo, uh, handles. We've got two on this end. Obviously, there'll be two on the other end. Go back to the store, go to handles, go to our recessed handles area. That's a medium or standard recessed handle. It's not the large one. And we're going to put four of those into our shopping cart. And so what you'll do is you'll continue to go through this photo picking out the parts that are there until you have accounted for everything that you see in the photo. And then the only other thing that I could say that you're not seeing is there's going to be foam on the inside of this case. So then you'd want to add some foam to your, uh, to your shopping cart. Now, quick note regarding extrusions. Here's your double angle corner. Here's your hybrid tongue and groove. 
Now, as far as determining how much you might need for your project, on every one of our extrusion pages, there is a formula for calculating how much extrusion you need for your project. And it's based on the three dimensions associated with your case. So you've got your width, side to side, depth, front to back, and height, top to bottom. Those three dimensions are all you need to plug into our formula to calculate how much extrusion you need for your project. As far as how many rivets, well, each one of our items tells you how many rivets are required for installation. For example, this one here, 10 rivets required. Uh, if you're not sure or you miss that little feature, just look at your part, like this ball corner takes six rivets. You're going to have eight of those, so that's 48 rivets. And just go through all your parts and add them up. And then however many rivets you want to use in your extrusion, and then make your list of how many rivets you need. So that's pretty much it, folks. That will give you a list of all the items associated with your case. Now, as far as the, um, uh, the cost, as you start putting items in your cart, you'll see a subtotal here. So every time you add a part, then the subtotal will change. Once you've got all your parts in the shopping cart, you'll be able to see what the total is for your parts at that time. And then you can tweak your list you know, as needed if you wanted to add some bigger latches or you want to cut down on costs a little bit. Maybe you'll change a few things, go with a smaller caster, smaller profile, uh, corner, smaller latch, you know, that type of thing. But you'll see how much you're you know, getting ready to spend right here. As far as how much shipping will be, right here underneath your subtotal, there's an estimate shipping and tax. Click on that little link and it opens up a box. You can pick your state and your zip code and then click on this estimate shipping and tax and you'll be able to see approximately what your shipping uh, is going to be. It'll give you an estimate. So that's pretty much it, folks. So just to recap, find a photo that looks like the case that you want. Then use that photo to start selecting part by part everything you see in the photo that will be needed for your case project. Then once you get here and you get your shopping cart you know, filled with items, you'll be able to see what your subtotal is as far as cost. And then if you, when you're all done, you want to find out what your shipping estimate is going to be, then right here with this estimate shipping and tax section, you can find out what that's going to be. So I hope this helps you guys out. It should make things a lot easier and quicker as far as selecting your parts. And uh, that's about it. So I'm Larry Cox for DIY Road Cases. We'll see you out on the road.